Today we're going to check out my 2000 millimeter lens hack and show you how to shoot footage like this. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and one of the things I love shooting with are really long lenses. Now I don't necessarily mean length long, I just mean a long millimeter. Uh, this is a 500 millimeter T-mount lens. We've talked about this lens multiple times on this channel. It is a five star 500 millimeter, super affordable because it's super cheap. It's a fairly low quality optic, but it's a lot of fun and with a little editing, you can still create beautiful photos with this lens. But this is still just a 500 millimeter lens. So even mounted on this Olympus Micro Four Thirds camera, which has a 2X crop, it's still only 1000 millimeters. Now that's fairly long, but what if I want to double it yet again? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I used Photodeox lens adapters to turn this 500 millimeter lens into a 2000 millimeter lens to shoot footage like this. Now for this project, you're going to need to start with a 500 millimeter lens. Like I said, you can use this five star 500 millimeter. It also sells as a Vivitar 500 millimeter and a couple other brands. You can get these on eBay for fairly low cost, although I have heard the price has gone up a little bit, hopefully not because of my videos. You can also use a 500 millimeter mirror lens. Uh, these are also very, very cheap lenses. Uh, you do have some downsides uh, because it uses a mirror. So you get weird donut shaped bokeh if you're shooting towards light points. Now we have to adapt this 500 millimeter lens to my Olympus EM10 Mark III. And part of the reason I'm using a micro four thirds camera is it actually has a 2X crop. So just by simply adapting this lens to this camera, we're already turning the 500 into a 1000 millimeter lens but we're gonna turn it into a 2000 millimeter lens with a couple adapters here. Uh, first off, we're gonna use our T-mount to EOS adapter. We'll just thread that onto the T-mount. Next, we're gonna use our Photodeox 2X extender. And what this does is it has an optic that doubles the image circle of your lens. So it'll turn this 500 millimeter into a 1000 millimeter lens. And this is an EF to EF doubler, so we can mount it to the T-mount to EF adapter that's already on the lens. Finally, to mount this lens and doubler to the Micro Four Thirds camera, we're gonna use a Canon EF to Micro Four Thirds adapter. And this is a non-electronic adapter because we don't need to worry about electronic communication because this is a fully manual lens. Then we're just gonna mount this adapter to the Olympus Micro Four Thirds camera. And there we go. And like I said earlier, because this camera already has a 2X crop, and then we combine it with the 2X crop of the doubler, this lens becomes a 2000 millimeter lens, just like that. Now there will be some quality issues with this combination. This is already a fairly cheap lo-fi optical lens. And then combining it with the optic in the doubler, which adds a little extra softness, you are getting a fairly soft image. But if you close the aperture down to like F16, F22, you're still gonna get a fairly sharp image. Here are some nature photos I captured with this setup just the other day. And as you can see, the images are fairly soft, but I was able to edit them to make them look pretty striking. Couple of these shots here. Now this is pretty useful for nature photography, but what it's really useful for is photographing and filming the moon. And just a couple days ago, we had April super moon and I had a perfect view from my backyard, set this up on a tripod and I got some beautiful video. Now it was a fairly cloudy night, so it got a lot of clouds moving across the moon, but I actually like the effect. It kind of makes it more moody than if it was just a clear night. And of course, the coolest thing that I captured with this setup was this. That's right, somehow I had my camera set up just at the right angle to catch a jet taking off flying through the sky right across the moon. You know, you see this image in movies and comics all the time, but rarely in real life. So I was really lucky to have my setup right where I was and be recording right when the jet flew past. Now, if you don't wanna use a 500 millimeter T-mount lens like this one, totally understand. Like I said earlier, you can use a mirror lens or let's say you have your own long lens, like a 200 or a 300 millimeter. With a setup similar to this from photodeox.com, you can still get a 4X crop, which is pretty amazing and can help you create some pretty stunning images for a low price. 
If you'd like to learn about any of the adapters featured in today's video, click the link in the description below and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and thanks for watching.